الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد إسلام forbids oppression and Islam forbids torture and the person who causes harm to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and his creatures will receive a painful torment in the hereafter so that is a stern warning for us to beware of harming one another and especially to know also it should bring some solace to those people who have suffered oppression and torture that the one who has caused them discomfort and torment will receive torment in the hereafter if they do not make repentance to their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala An Arwata ibn Zubair An Hisham ibn Hakim ibn Hizam radiyallahu anhuma qala مر بشام على الناس وقد أقيموا في شمس وصب على رؤوسهم الزيت فقال ما هذا كيل يعذبون في الخراج فقال أما إني سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إن الله يعذب الذين يعذبون الناس dunya akhrajahu muslim in this hadith narration that it was narrated on Urwa bin Zubair who reported that Hisham ibn Hakim ibn Hizam radiallahu anhuma may Allah be pleased with them both said that he happened to pass by some people in Syria who had been made to stand in the sun and olive oil was poured on their heads he said and what is this and it was said they are being punished for not paying the kharaj the, this was a government tax uh, a government tax on land and fruits he said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said or I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam say Allah will torture those who torture people in this world from this hadith narration, this was collected in uh, Muslim, we learn that by harming and the act of torture and torment in this life by people who, who do these heinous crimes and acts, that they will receive a painful torment in the hereafter. And it lets us know that Islam forbids these types of activities. Because anything in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give punishment to uh, a person for doing or saying, then that is something forbidden in Islam. And anything that is mentioned in the Quran, in the Sunnah of the Prophet, وسلم, which illustrates, uh, which is something that Allah is pleased with, that He commands you to do then that is considered worship and that is something you will be rewarded for and since there is punishment related to the individual who torments others that they will receive a punishment in the hereafter then that of course is a forbidden act so what about those individuals who do torment people who do uh, oppress and violate others rights those individuals have to be concerned for their soul and those individuals will be held accountable even if it isn't in this life they will be held accountable in the hereafter and I ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from torment and I ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from being oppressive and from being oppressed